What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine and if you are new to my channel, I'm a stay-at-home mom of two boys, Parker who is six and Carter who is four and I'm expecting baby number three. Like I cannot believe I'm even saying those words. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me in this video. I took down some notes because I just wanted to make sure that I had all of my dates correct and stuff. The week of February 13th, 7th through the 13th. So this was like the week before we found out. I wasn't super tired. Um, I did nap throughout the day, but that's just normal for me to, you know, like, especially when Andrew's home, like, we just sit down on the couch and we just end up falling asleep. Um, I had so much energy, like so much energy. There was this one day where I, it was like the boys had already gone to bed and all of that. I went to the refrigerator to grab a white claw and I felt so sick. It, it literally felt like I was hungover and I just, I wanted to throw up. I felt so sick. Um, I did notice slight bloating, but to me that's normal, especially the week before I get my period. Um, so I didn't pay any attention to that. The one thing that I did really notice was that my chest was so sore. It was almost like when your milk comes in and you know that feeling, like it just hurts so, so, so bad. Anything is just stings. Um, but then again, like I figured that that was just my PMS acting up um, because I do have a sore chest before I get my period, but this was just a little bit more intense. Um, and I was so out of breath, which was insane because I had a lot of energy. Like I was decluttering my house. I had a whole schedule going on, cleaning schedule and all of this and all of that. Like it just didn't really click to me. It was it was just really weird and so then I took the test and then that's when everything made a lot of sense so yeah that was the first signs of pregnancy so then week five came along and that is when I started to feel more symptoms um, my stomach felt like it was stretching I had a lot of growing pains especially up here um, I had a lot of pains in my chest. Um, I was definitely showing there was moments where my stomach would just kind of pop out. And then there was moments where it look, just looked like I had just eaten a full meal and it kind of looked a little bit bloated. So I <laughs> was funny because I found out the day before the storm hit Texas. And so then the storm hit Texas we decided to flee over to my in-laws and being there was torture. It was absolute torture. Um, I remember this one time where nausea really hit me hard. They were cooking and this is no offense to their cooking because they're incredible cooks. I always, like I love their food but there was just something about the meat cooking process that was absolutely disgusting to me. And I tried so hard to not throw up, not to make it obvious. Like now I did end up eating. I had to really slow down on my eating and eat less because I felt fuller faster. My stomach would expand so much faster. And um, I had really, really bad stomach aches after I ate. It was as if like you, eat way too much and then your stomach just feels like it's about to explode that's how i was feeling i remember just wanting to come home because i was so uncomfortable i didn't want to tell anybody because it was literally like the day before we found out and i was about four weeks pregnant and so now we are in week six and honestly it is just insane because my stomach is out there now and i cannot hide this it kind of looks like i'm pregnant but it also kind of looks like did you gain a little bit of weight in your stomach obviously because i'm so petite and tiny like you can really pinpoint it out so i'm trying to wear a little bit of baggier clothes none of my pants fit me anymore i have had to purchase new joggers and I'm already purchasing like pregnancy leggings and all of that thinking about my wardrobe 
because everything is just so tight on me and it just it squishes everything in and it just hurts um so so far my belly is um very hard it's not squishy or at all or anything it's like a ball that has been formed um the first craving was a few days ago during my sixth week and it was honeycomb so i was just like kind of thinking about our groceries and then all of a sudden i was just like Ooh, i want honeycomb so i ordered some honeycomb on groceries and then i ate it and it was like the best thing that i had ever eaten in my entire life um i also craved hawaiian pizza and what is tougher about this situation is that my son has a milk and egg allergy so we are pretty much vegan as much as we can and that was so 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 tough because I couldn't have what I wanted I couldn't have the pizza because I wasn't gonna go get a pizza and eat it in front of him that was just like so rude and my mama heart you know like hurt for that um, but luckily we have our appointment coming up where we will test and see if he is no longer allergic or if he is allergic and fingers crossed that my baby is no longer allergic to milk and eggs because it'll be a game changer especially now that i am with child like i just want all the things i definitely sleep a lot um i have to take two naps a day or else i cannot function and my naps are a little bit on the longer side so they're like 45 minutes to an hour and cooking is the worst thing that i could possibly do i do not like to cook i am not a cook but i make basic meals for my family and now i can't even stomach the thought of basic meals um you know having to adjust my meals and everything to a smaller portion is crazy my water intake i need to increase that as well um there's just so many things that i need to do in order to keep this baby where it should be and not miscarry because i am terrified of miscarriage i had a miscarriage um two years ago and that was devastating it was a little bit before we found out that I was pregnant and then I unfortunately like I could I didn't even make it to my appointment because that's when I miscarried and there was literally nothing they could do about it um and so just having those thoughts in my mind I cannot fathom it and I'm just like please please let this baby stick because baby number three would bring so much joy to our family the boys have started asking for a sibling and I'm just like I can't I wish I could tell you but I don't want to tell you just yet because I want to make it special and I want to make it into a surprise and all of that stuff so we will see how we tell the boys um my mom pretty much found out like right away I'm dying to tell Andrew's parents I just don't know how and I know that I really really want to make this a very very special like over the top everything i'm like 89 90 percent sure this is going to be my last child um my family feels complete now that i know that i'm having a third child i think it's a boy and it's fine i'm i'm gonna have three boys that's perfectly fine i'm okay with that i have prayed about it i have you know asked god to give me that peace to accept the fact that it might be another boy and now i'm at peace with it if it's another boy it's perfectly okay if it's not in the cards for me to be a girl mom it's okay so that's where i'm at right now that's where my thoughts are and we will find out what the baby is in the next couple of weeks i'm having another genetic test i still have not had my doctor's appointment my doctor's appointment is um, when I hit 10 weeks. That is when we see the baby, confirm the pregnancy, and all of that. Which, confirm the pregnancy for, you know, like, for sure, for sure, find a due date, and all of that. So, I look forward to that appointment, and I'm so excited, you guys. Like, I cannot believe this is happening. 
let me know what your thoughts were when you found out that you were having number three was it an easy transition i want to know everything i want to know all the things i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more i cannot wait to update you with all of the things and i'll see you guys in my next one bye